So it looks like you have ended a, a, a situation or you've ended an old job. Maybe you've changed jobs, moved on, or maybe you've even lost your job. So there's something that you have ended uh, right now. And, um, you know, uh, you're going on to do something better. So something better coming in for you with a love card. Something that you will enjoy much more coming in for you. You've been relying a lot on your intuition or, you know, your insight to try and find uh, yourself again. So you are trying to move on and you're trying to look for something uh, that you enjoy more. So whatever happened was a big deal because there's the storm card of here. So some big drama coming in and you know you've, there may have been some kind of argument, confrontation, something that happened that you've had to end that situation and walk on, uh, walk away from it. Now there was abundance that came in. There may have been a lot of travel involved in that previous job that you were doing. So you did receive a lot of abundance but there was some kind of big drama that happened. Some Something happened uh, that caused you to actually leave that particular job. Now going into the future you are trying to make some bold moves. You're putting yourself out there and you are presenting yourself as somebody who is, uh, you know, held positions of authority. So you are trying to get things moving as well. So you're dealing with some kind of aftermath, uh, some kind of scandal that, uh, you know, happened from that previous job. Um, you know, there's there was a lot of bad vibes that came out from it. And um, you're now coming to terms with it or you're trying to deal with it. So you're, you know, you're getting over whatever happened in the past. There's been some kind of big uh, change of energies, a big change uh, of events that happened. So those are the energies uh, within those two weeks. So this is the, uh, sorry, the Tower of New Vision. And I'm going to do that, the main read with that. So you've got that page of cups coming in over there. So there's some kind of offer that is coming in for you soon uh, that will allow you to move away from, uh, you know, it's a new offer. It's a new job offer coming. It might involve a teaching kind of a role or it might involve giving out a lot of information, but definitely somebody bringing in some kind of nice, uh, you know, offer that um, uh, you are waiting for really and something that you are expecting to come in anyway. So, uh, and it's going to make you very, very happy because the page of cups usually brings in some good news. Um, really. Uh, so something that might take you to distant shores. So that might be a job that is not done here, but over overseas, away from wherever you work. So this brand new offer coming in for you soon. So what happened with you? You've got the seven of pentacles over here and it's crossed by the sun card. So you're working very, very hard in this previous job. You know, it was a project that you took to fruition and it, it came to a very successful end. So you worked very hard, a lot of communication that went down over here and you did finish your particular project. Uh, but it seems like all that time and effort that you invested in it, you felt didn't pay off. So you were waiting for some kind of a good, um, you know, a financial um, remuneration or a good financial return from it, and you did not get what you were expecting. So this has left you feeling very, very disappointed. So whatever you're waiting for, you're expecting a, a, a bigger payoff, and you didn't get it. You got a really small amount, and so you know this has left you very, very upset. And maybe this is what the drama was about: uh, that you didn't actually get what you, you, um, what you invested in it. You, you, you didn't get the worth of that uh, payment. Um, so whatever was promised to you was not delivered, and whatever investment of time and effort and energy that you put in, put in, you feel it has been a waste of your time because you really did work long, uh, hard hours for it, and it was a successful project, but you didn't get that payoff that you were expecting to get. So what has happened uh, in the past? You had been, you know, very, very focused on that work. You were in a very, very much of a leadership position and you were in charge of that particular project. There were a lot of difficulties. You can see this man's uh, up against this ox here. So it seems like, you know, you had to work very, very hard and deal with a lot of difficulties in that particular position. Um, and uh, you've got the temperance card over here. So it was some kind of new project that you launched. Uh, you know, you were, um, you know, trying to keep everything sorted out. You were using a lot of your skills and all the things that you learned, your expertise in this particular field to get the job done. So you're working pretty hard, pretty focused on it, uh, you know, um, 
very, very grounded as well and uh, very much in charge. And it was something that was very internationally based as well. So this is the card that is ruled by Sagittarius. So something where, you know, you built something and it was out on onto a, you know, on an international uh, on the international front. So something that maybe was not done in your uh, way, you know, your local country, but somewhere else. So you have actually moved to do this particular job. Um, and, you know, you um, you used a lot of your skills. Maybe you were employed in this particular post because of your expertise in that particular field. And it seems, you know, you did work very hard and it was a very successful project, but you didn't get what was promised to you. So the returns were not what you expected it to be. So you've got that Queen of Pentacles over here. So you are still thinking about money and getting a new job and you want a new leadership position and you are very focused about on the finances as well. So you want abundance to come in and you want that leadership position to come in. So you are, uh, you know, putting yourself out there and trying to look for a new, new post where you are, uh, you know, where you are more of that leader and you are very focused. It looks like you are looking for some kind of new offer, some kind of new job coming in. Now you've got the magician of card over here. So this is talking about being very focused on your work, but still something somebody trying to trip you up. So there's a lot of, um, you know, um, uh, this monkey is very mischievous, causes a lot of, uh, you know, it's almost like a gremlin. It causes a lot of problems. So there's unexpected things arising, things that you didn't anticipate, problems coming up, cropping up uh, to disrupt your work. So whatever you're doing is, um, you know, whatever work you're going to be doing, whatever this new job that is, that is going to be coming in, it looks like it's a new offer that comes in for you. It's going to be communicating with a lot of people. You've got a lot of people that this magician is dealing with. You'll be very focused on this particular work uh, and you know, you'll be using a lot of your skills, your expertise uh, to uh, sort out these uh, problems. There might you know, still be some, uh, a few hassles that are there uh, to cause a little bit of chaos for you. So just be aware of that. Uh, little problems um, you know, that you will need to deal with uh, while you're um, doing this work. Now, the Magician is the number one card, so this is the beginning of something brand new. So this new offer is coming in, and you will be in charge, and it is dealing with a very, very international audience as well, and also a lot of communication going on over here, and you are going to be in charge. So you've got the Knight of Pentacles over here, and this is working very, very hard, so you will start something brand new. You will accept this offer, it seems, because he's got that pentacle, and he's accepting, and he's trying to plow this field. So you can see there's a it's also going to be a leadership position and it's going to be something that you start from the ground up. So it's starting something brand new and, you know, um, you know, investing in it, investing your time and effort into it and being in a leadership position uh, and working very, very hard. And it looks like, uh, you know, there might be some travel involved as well with this particular job. Um, but uh, it's going to be something long term and uh, pretty stable as well. So you've got the star card coming in over here. So it seems like whatever project you did do, brought in a lot of fame and recognition for you. Uh, you need to get rid of any kind of negative feelings you have. You have moved away from that old situation and you've moved away with some good good ideas and you know good insights as well uh, and it earned you a you know a, a lot of recognition so uh, uh, people are beginning to see you as somebody uh, you know to take note of you're also going to be you know you've also done a lot of international communication you know you've been speaking to a very broad audience as well but you're moving on from that particular position so whatever it is that you're going to be doing uh, you know your reputation is going to be preceding you you're still very anxious you're not sleeping well at night things are still worrying you a lot uh, you you can see this devil bothering this man while he's trying to get some rest. So you are still very, very anxious and very, very stressed out. Maybe you're worrying about whether or not you should accept this offer or worried about getting this offer, but it will come in. And then you've got that Ace of Cups over here. So there is definitely that new offer. You've got that Knave of Cups and you've got that Ace of Cups. So something brand new coming in. It looks like when this comes in, you know, the job position that you get, you're going to be enjoying the people that you work with as well. And it might even be involved new study or, you know, if you're into um, learning, this might be an offer to do further study or further learning uh, a new opportunity coming along along those lines over here but you're going to be very very happy and you're going to enjoy it quite a bit it might be some kind of work near water as well so you know because there you've got the shoreline in both of these so it might be you know some kind of work uh, that is involves traveling overseas or it might be some kind of job near water and the news will come in very very quickly now uh, there is that news coming in very quickly, but this could also be some kind of legal news coming in that causes a little bit of chaos. You can see this house is on fire and these soldiers are running away. So there could be, uh, you know, that you're going to be dealing with some kind of 
uh, news uh, that comes in. Maybe there's a legal matter that you need to settle or some kind of legal news coming in that causes a lot of disruption, a lot of drama, and that's going to cause you to take pick, pick your job and move on. So uh, there's a new offer coming in. There's some kind of legal news coming in that's a bit upsetting, I think, because everything is up in flames over here. People running away. So it's going to cause a lot of drama, but it's going to spur you on to make that final decision to take a job, to pick a job and move on. So it seems like, um, you know, uh, you are... Uh, uh, coming to a point of very big change coming in over here. You're going to choose between there's two jobs coming into office coming in for you over here. You are balancing finances at the moment, but it seems like some uh, new job coming in for you and you're going to have to make a choice and move on. There's some kind of legal news coming in, some kind of official news coming in that's going to make you move on pretty quickly. But also be aware of dealing with very, very difficult people that can stir up some problems as well within that job situation. So, you know, you could deal with, um, you know, uh, with that, uh, Knight of Swords, these people are very confrontational, and so just be aware that you could well deal with that kind of person. But it's going to definitely spur you on to make a decision about a choice of a job. So you might be in between jobs at the moment, right? Uh, you know, this could be that little monkey person coming in over here. This could be, well, that Knight of Swords causing in those problems. So there might be some kind of obstacle or difficulty before you actually accept that new job and move on. And you will have to make some kind of choice as well. And, you know, there's a lot of sheep over here. So make sure that you're showing your, you know, maybe a lot of people are applying for those jobs. So make sure that you're not, uh, you know, uh, somehow you should stand out above the crowd. So make sure whatever you put in your CV and however you present yourself, you are presenting yourself as somebody that is exceptional. Uh, not somebody that is just, you know, one of the sheep, if you like. So make sure that you are emphasizing something in your CV or something about you that uh, you know, shows your exceptional talents. And you do have a lot of talents. You've got the magician who is a very talented person, very, very talented. Uh, and then there's always one thing that magician can do better than everybody else. You need to emphasize that when you're putting yourself forth in any kind of interview or putting yourself forth for any kind of job. But there is some kind of offer coming in and there's that choice that needs to be made over here. That offer is coming in pretty soon as well. There's that bird coming in over there. So um, I'm going to just draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot uh, as the Oracle read. So you've got the Ego card over here, which says the illusion of being trapped, placing too much of importance on material things and getting caught up in fear and worry. So this is, um, you know, the it's like the Devil card. So try not to be too negative about things. See the positives of things and, you know, be very positive in your outlook and how you think about things as well. And you've got the strength card over here, which says the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, a time to embrace how wonderful you are. So make sure that people are seeing that you are a good leader, very strong, very bold, make bold moves and, uh, you know, show your strength of character as well. And if there's any challenges that you are dealing with, you will be able to sort that out. Then you've got the Four of Spring over here, which says, Be grateful you have much to celebrate. Uh, deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. So with the Four of Spring, whatever is coming in for you is going to bring in a lot of stability. Uh, and it's going to be, um, uh, you know, a need, um, a reason for you to celebrate. So whatever uh, is coming in is going to be, you know, whatever this new job is, it's going to be really good. So you will have to make some kind of choice about which job you pick. Um, you know, and also watch your finances. This is an important card about balancing your money. There's some kind of legalities coming in. Maybe there's a, some kind of legal payment payoff coming in as well because the Knight of one, uh, Swords always brings in legal news. It brings in official news. So something coming in for you and that might be, you know, something to do with, uh, you know, financial uh, gain coming in as well because you've got that Ace of Cups immediately preceding it. So maybe this person with that Knight of Swords, even though it looks like a very harsh card, brings in that news very quickly and it is something um you know it's almost like a blessing that comes in for you and it allows you to choose you know these jobs that come in for you it may be coming in as a as a blessing and there is going to be some kind of celebration that comes in especially with that four of spring so you are getting um you know moving on and so and you will be working very hard pretty soon just watch out for little problems that crop up uh you know more like little irritations just get that sorted out don't let it overwhelm you and try not to be too anxious about the situation. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to watch my Energy Remedies videos that I've been putting out this week. Uh, take care now. Goodbye.